Was that my phone? I was sound asleep. Huh? A message from Shirley. She called me again. What could she want this late? Maybe she'll call again tomorrow. I gotta go. A hospital, huh? Must be abandoned. Or else it's got terrible upkeep. What's with them in these creepy places? Should I go in? Probably. But, hold on. Is there no sign around here? Can I? Nope. Can't. That's a tiny car. Holy, I never noticed that. It's like... Oh, oh, wait. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Of course not. Can I not look at it? Okay, how do you fit in there, David? This is like a smart car. Okay, let's go. He might be around here. I'll look around some more. Fending machine. No comment about it, though. It's a wheelchair. Not operational. The elevator stopped at floor four. Um... The fourth floor is considered an unlucky floor in Asian countries. I don't know what I'm saying. The door to the outpatient clinic, it has an umber lock. Is this lock battery operated? It's not working, so the batteries must be dead. Well, the place is abandoned. Fire extinguisher. Key box. Locked with a passcode. I know how to do these. Cafeteria key and elevator trunk key. Cool. Is that a computer? Some sort of equipment. Huh. Cardboard box has lost and found on the top. What? Nothing inside, nothing inside, nothing inside. Locked. I wonder if there's anything inside. It's a simple lock, so maybe I could get it open without the key. Yeah. Sure. Or you could take a chair and smash it with it. Cafeteria. Well, I got the key. Okay. Stained white cups. A dirty teacup. Um, dirty dishes. What's in the cafeteria? There's nothing here. Okay. Hello, you. The can rolls to the ground. There's something inside it. Wires. Am I gonna use that to fix the keypad thing? That's an interesting looking door. Great. Oh, it's a normal place. Oh. Okay then. What? Dark red writing on the bed. Likely blood. Do not mourn them. Do not avert your eyes. It is happier for them. I have saved them. Them? Who's them? Um... Huh. Day room. Hello, book. You look important. If I can stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can ease one life the aching, or cool one pain, or help one fainting robin unto his nest again, I shall not live in vain. Emily Elizabeth Dickinson. Huh. So the crooked man is trying to help David. By... killing him. That's not... great. Was that a cat or a kid? Oh. A dead cat. The stomach was cut open. The poor thing. I can't look. Why would you do this? Wait, there's something in there. Ah, great. 
Sorry. Bloody key. And these are its babies. Were these its kittens? Were they cut out of its stomach? Who could have? Whoever did this was one sick son of a gun. I'm not supposed to. I'm not rotating my saves, that's not great. Door's locked. These are all busted. Okay, fourth floor. The fun floor. This is where all the good stuff happens. Is that vomit? It's vomit. Alright. That's delicious. Now that's just a ghost sitting in that chair. Do you not see these, David? Alright. Scrap from a notebook. I sat on the chair and watched the bed like always, only there was no one in the bed anymore. What have I accomplished? I could only watch my family scream. I still can't answer that question. It's his notebook. No doubt he was here. But is he still here now? Maybe as a ghost? Counseling room. Locked. That's... Can I look in the windows? I can't. Alright. And here's the elevator thingy. Pry it. What is that? An automated external defibrillator with a little battery left. Huh. What? Oh. Oh! I can use that for the keypad. I should save because I might get chased now because this would be a good time for it. Um, why are you singing in English? Play! What are you doing here? Are your mom and dad not around? Did you come here alone? Are, uh, um, are you mute, perhaps? Mama said not to talk to strangers. Ah, well then, I'll have to introduce myself. I'm David. I am 26 years old. I live kind of far from here. My hobby is, inspects child's hat, watching baseball. Oh, I like baseball too. <laughs> Mama gave me a glove, so I play every Saturday. We can't afford a ball, though, just the glove. Well, I'm jealous. Hey, so what's your name, little guy? Fluffy. <laughs> Fluffy, that's your name? Yeah, mommy always says my hair's... Wait, what? Yeah, your hair... my hair's fluffy like a towel, so it's fluffy. I see. Where's your mama, Fluffy? I don't know. You don't know? Did you not come here with her? Um, well, we were going back home, and I was walking right by mama... Then she went to get something she forgot. I didn't want to wait, so I came in here to sing. So you're lost. Is your house near here? Um, my house is close to school, but you can't see school from here. So I guess it's far. Right. You're really something to have waited here all alone. Great. A kid lost late at night. I think there's a sheriff's office nearby. Maybe I should take him there. Hey, Fluffy. It's scary in the dark, isn't it? How about you go with me to Mr. Policeman? Okay, let's go. No! <laughs> well, what's wrong, Fluffy? I'll have Mr. Policeman show you a patrol car. Don't you want me to come along? I mean, don't you want to come along? <laughs> I'm not scared of the dark. I'm a big boy. You're the scaredy cat, aren't you? Fluffy! Better give chase, I guess. Then again, maybe his mom will find him. I don't want to be questioned by the police anyway. I'll take him somewhere safe if I ever see him again. If I can stop... Wait, no, I saw this already. I gotta go to that keypad thing. 
Oh no, wait, I have the wire for the, uh, what the heck? Um, locker. No, uh, here. Locked. Unlocked it with the wire. Note about a number lock. Oh yeah, the code for the door. I'm so good at this game. Put the battery in the lock device. Oh yeah, it's, uh, I didn't look at the thing. Um, 4489. Release the number lock. Good job, David. I'm so proud of you. I didn't play this part over again because my recording got messed up. Uh, staff room. Come here, shiny thing. There is a thing on the desk. Got the key to the counseling room. That's on the top floor of the hospital. I'm gonna look around more. Is that a thing? A hammer. Oh. That blends in with a table. I thought that was a stick or a... Or a hammer. Wait, this is a hammer. I was right. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> I should investigate this more. Cabinet is locked. Cabinet is locked. Nothing in the... Wait, what? This cabinet's locked. But this one... Doesn't matter. I might have to go back here. Director's room, yeah! That's a giant safe. Very secure. A diary probably written by the director. I received a puzzle box the other day. Rather interesting thing to open it. You have to re that. I read that badly. I received a puzzle box the other day. Rather interesting thing. To open it, you have to arrange letters, pe letters pieces to form a word. Of course I made the keyword my favorite word. That irreplaceable thing which always makes me happy just to say. The fact, I mean in fact, I should show the box to my dog to her. Unbelievable! When I showed my daughter the puzzle box, she hid all the pieces like a daughter would. But what's inside isn't really something you use every day, so it's not a huge deal. A gun? She actually gave me hints on where they are, but I can't find any. Maybe when I have time. More importantly, I don't know if I could bring myself to scold my troublesome daughter. Scrap of paper with hints. Six indentations. What was in the box? I should get all the pieces first, otherwise I won't know how to arrange them. I should take a look at the hints. Flower's good. Wash your hands. Where did you have- what? Give me a call. Nurses know that. Get close to the sky. Okay, uh... A garden? A sink somewhere? A cafeteria? A, I don't know, a phone place? I don't know what that nurse thing is, and the rooftop. Sure. Uh... Plea from the hospital. To all mothers carrying babies, please stop abandoning them in front of the hospital. Six precious lives have been lost this month. That's messed up. Medicine room. Locked. Door plate faded and hard to read. Can I use my key on you? I can't. By the way, this is where my recording stopped, so now I'm fresh. Pediatrics. Timmy! I mean, uh, what the hell was your name? <laughs> Uh, there you are, Fluffy. Don't you know not to wander off alone? I can handle the dark. I told you, I'm a big boy. I'm not gonna cry like a baby. Wow, you sure do seem brave, Fluffy. I have to admire that. Really? <laughs> yeah, you're as brave as Captain America. I'm kinda scared of walking in the dark, but here I am looking for someone. If only there was someone here to depend on. Just my luck. Okay, I'll go with you, Mr. David. Whoa, really? What a relief, thanks. I feel so much safer with you here, Fluffy. Haha, <laughs> I'll protect you, Mr. David. We'll stick together until his mother shows up. If she doesn't, Sheriff's office it is. Good job. Oh, he's following me. It's the thingy the doctor uses. I want one. Can I have it? It's dirty. You probably shouldn't. Medical equipment. What's his stuff? I don't know. Bookshelves are empty. Okay. Surgical department. Wait, what? Keyhole's painted over. What does that even mean? Oh. Damn, this place is big. Keyhole's painted over. Yep. Public phone. Oh yeah, the hint thingy for the thing. 
F piece. Oh, hi. Wait, the sinks. I'm really thirsty, can I have a drink? Oh, um, I'm really thirsty, can I have a drink? <laughs> no way, this water's no good. Yep. Oh, come on, Fluffy. I have to examine these because the thingy might be in there. Well, I guess if it's the daughter, it wouldn't be in the men's room. Um. Putrid yellow and smells foul. Oh, hi, Mr. Buck. <laughs> yeah. There really are bugs. This place is grass. It's so grass. It's good of the girls will shroom. What are you? The wall is slightly damaged. There are fragments of concrete on the ground. What? Oh, I need to bring the hammer here, I think. Okay. Faucets work. Something in the drain. Okay, two out of six. Mr. David, I gotta pee. Huh? Okay, I guess this is the girls' room, so... Go to the boys' one. Not sure if it'll flush, though. Okay, I'll wait here. You can go by yourself, right? Yeah, I'll be good. Goodbye, Fluffy. May you rest in pieces. Hey, Fluffy, you okay in there? <laughs> I'm peeing, hold on! Oh, damn it. Huh? What is it, Fluffy? Come out already. I can't open the door. What? Kick it? Dude, you're 26. You're at the prime of your physical fitness. It really won't open. Did the door just break or what? Oh, Fluffy's crying now. Mr. David, I can't get out. Am I gonna be stuck in here forever? It's okay, Fluffy. I'll get you out right away. Just give me a second. I gotta... Okay, what you can do is carry this thing and then, like, ram it against the door. But that would be too easy. Don't worry, Fluffy, I'll figure this out. Did I examine everything here? I did. Or did I? Oh yeah, this is the place where everything's the same. God, the door noises. I wonder when the slender, I mean the, uh, what's his name? Crooked man pops. Oh, there's a note. Wait a minute. Locked. Radiology. Ooh, paint it over. Yeah. Locked. My mother told me I was born here. She called it a place of happiness, but for me it's a place of regret. I wish I could kill my child self, back when I was pure, when I still thought everyone loved me. I really wish David would talk about these things, because this is some bizarro stuff what am I talking about. Ah, I hate these rooms, they all look the same. I don't know if I should be looking inside all of them. I still have the key for the counseling room, which is not in this area. Is there a thing on the board? Nope. Alright, how about on this table? Let's see. Up. Up. There we go. Beaker and flask. Test tubes. Ah, uh, cabinets are empty. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, could I go up again? I could not. Take the fire extinguisher and use that to break the knob. But, okay. You still in there? Don't worry, I'll get the key f Wait. Could this bloody key be the key to the washroom? It's not. What the hell is this for? Ah... Uh, wait a minute. I need the flower one, the cafeteria one, um, nurse place, and the rooftop. Okay. I will go to the counseling room and no one will... <sighs> this is the time. Crooked man. Hey, more ghost men. Hey, I can't push these open. Well, I just saw a shadow. Was it my imagination? David, no. No, David. Mental health bucks. Broken old refrigerator. Counseling schedules are posted up. Loan diary. Uh, 12 35 p.m. Tape 15. Subject. Visitor A. Guarantor for relative in room 413. 
Visited after sudden change. What? Contents. A visited after sudden change in patient's condition. Patient was hospitalized upon identified brain illness. Surgery deemed necessary due to declining health. The patient still thinks herself healthy, which causes a, which causes A a great deal of distress. Her memories of A are also vague. A sought, A sought counseling on how to cope. The patient misunderstands it as A abandoning her. She cries and screams, her mind unstable. Counseling will likely continue for both. Tape 16. Subject, Visitor A. A visited after the patient's death. He lamented that, given she was going to die, he couldn't watch over her at home. He stated that living in itself is not happy. So if life is agony, then wanting death is unavoidable. Should I refuse him as a doctor, or tolerate it as a person of dignity? I wish he would come back here, but unfortunately I can't free him. I mean force him. I wonder if this kind of thing happens a lot. Got the psychiatry key. What? Was there a place like that here? So... The crooked man was Visitor A, and someone that was really close to him died and he couldn't take it. So he wanted to die. And the doctor was like, please, come back here again. And then he said no. And I'm gonna guess he killed himself. And now he's a ghost that haunts other people with really crappy lives and... I don't know. I have the key for the psychiatry room, where is that? Um... Was there a thing here? Director's room. Staff room. Wait, this was the room with the mystery thingy. I don't have a key for it. Yeah. Oh, I have to go to the cafeteria still and find other pieces. Crap, hold on. Um, dishes, white cups. Oh. It's in the cup. That's great. Alright, uh, um, LAF. Flour is good. Wash your hands. Where do you have lunch? Okay, so I have, uh, one, two, three. Nurses know that. Where is that? Wait a minute. That hammer. I can use that in the women's washroom. This one. Come on, David. Take it. It's like a freaking Mjolnir. Looks heavy. What? Come on, there was a crack in the women's washroom. I mean, you could also use it to break the door down, but fine. <sighs> Fluffy, stop crying. You don't got enough tears in your body. To... Psychiatry room, there we go. I should... Oh. Hold on. Oh. Hey. A psychiatrist's diary. John Smith is dead. He hung himself. I was no help at all, it seems. I took a look at the note under his feet, and it said this. It's chasing me. No matter where I go, I can't ever escape, so I've decided to die. But I realized. It's grinning. In fact, it's grinning behind me right now. It's been waiting for me to do this. This is what it was chasing me for. But now I'll be free from it. Doctor, please take care. It might start to follow you next. There's no point in running because it's always at someone's back. Goodbye. Thank you for everything, Doctor. You were the only one who had sympathy. Okay, copy machine. Memo on the bulletin board. Bed trash board. What? I don't know what that's referring to. Okay then, refrigerator. Shoot. Two, three, four. Is that the floors? Okay, I had to look this up because I was just... It's a thingy here, of course. It makes sense. So this was the fourth floor and it should be here. It's not supposed to be here. Okay, then. There's a number on the board. Six. Okay. Where the heck is the crooked man? He should have showed up by now. Why does this have a thing? One. Six, one. What are these numbers even for? I don't know. 
617. Wait a minute, there was that, uh, locked cabinet thingy. What? No? But... Wait. What am I doing? Hammer? I don't... Well, this is annoying. Hey, if I break this wall... Yep. I was supposed to check it after you got lost. That's great. Now I can get the hammer. Okay, David, take it now, you smart person. I can break the wall with this. Yeah! I mean, it's also a fantastic weapon that you can use to fight all the crooked men. Crooked man smasher. <coughs> Billy! <coughs> Fluffy! <coughs> Stop. Um, I'm gonna save over here. Okay. I'm coming, Jimmy. I'm not even looking at it. Hey, I could break it with a thing. I gotta use it manually, though, because it decided to. Fluffy, get away from the wall. I'm gonna break it through. Fluffy, where did you go, buddy? Oh, there you are. Fluffy, hey, what's wrong? What happened? No, don't come near me, I'm scarred. Fluffy, it's okay, it's me, Davide. M Mr. David? Wah! <laughs> Fluffy, are you okay? Are you hurt? Seriously, what happened? Well, I, I was waiting for Mr. David and then... I turned around and there was a guy there and he he tried to get me. A man? Fluffy. What was he like? His neck was all limp and he was grinning. He looked at me and said, Found you. He can talk? I was so scared I hid in here. A man with a crooked neck? It's him. So he followed me here too. Damn it. Why Fluffy and not... Well, I mean, he didn't touch Fluffy, so... I was so scared, I was so scared. It's okay now, Fluffy. You did good for yourself. I'm proud of you. If he's here, then I can't let Fluffy stay here any longer. I have to take him to the police. Fluffy, shouldn't we go to Mr. Policeman? It's dark and dangerous. I'll take you there, it'll be okay. No, I'm staying with Mr. David. I'm waiting for my moms. Fluffy, please don't be selfish. I'm sure your mama went to the police too, so... No, Mom is said to wait here, so I know she's gonna come find me. And I'll wait for her, because I'm tough. Fluffy. If I can't find him here soon, and if Fluffy's mom doesn't show, then I'll have to take him to the police. Fluffy sure won't like that, though. Boy, this is getting troublesome. I hope she shows up soon. Alright, Fluffy. We'll wait together a little longer, okay? Your mom will come soon. I know it. So hey, don't cry. You're a big boy, right? D don't tell mom that I cry. Mama hates when I cry. She gets mad. I won't tell a soul, and that's a promise between men. Now let's go. Okay. The door opens now. Was it... The monster that locked it? That is correct. <laughs>